the last year that there was world peace was actually 183 AD. So every year since then, there has been a war somewhere in the world. There's killing and a lot of people get injured, but those aren't the only problems. It also affects the economy and way of life. A lot of people starve and a lot of people are kept from living to their full potential because of war. In the past, people have tried to create big destructive weapons that will pretty much scare people away from war, um, like the nuclear bomb. Uh, they thought it would be so powerful that people just wouldn't go to war. And same thing with the machine gun, but unfortunately that didn't happen. So um, instead of making a weapon to end all wars, like, do you have any ideas what type of technology could be used to make resources available so wars don't happen? We can't assume that technology should be used to fix problems anymore. We need to use technology to prevent the problems and to prevent people from assuming that war is a better strategy than any of the alternatives. Mm -hmm. We've gotten very good at going around the world and taking out the bad guys with very advanced technologies. <laughs> we, we can take very advanced bombers and smart bombs and go out there and carpet bomb a place and get rid of all the bad guys and very few good guys if we're the good guys get hurt. Mm -hmm. But what if right after we deployed all those advanced weapons of mass destruction, mm -hmm. we deployed a similar level of technology of weapons of mass construction. What if the day after we carpet bomb the place and you drop little boxes that make water, clean water, and you drop more little boxes that make electricity for everybody that needs it. Mm -hmm. And with electricity, they got knowledge and information and communication and trust. I think you'd be surprised, but around the world, if there are billions of people that have no water and they watch their kids die, mm -hmm. they have no electricity, they have no hope, they have no education, they have no light at night, it's easy for them to be angry and jealous mm -hmm. and afraid you know, we don't go to war with people that we do business with. We don't go to war with allies. We don't go to war with smart, happy people. Wars are the result of people being so desperate, anything is better than their current situation. people think it's naive to believe that you can prevent a war, then they shouldn't be surprised that history will repeat itself. Now our technologies are too good at bad stuff. Mm. We can't afford to do this again. So I do believe that if we deploy technologies that can make the world a better place for everybody, we have a way, way better chance of preventing the war. And I think your generation has enough technology at its disposal to do that. I think technology can definitely help us get toward world peace. I mean, people have been producing all these increasingly extensive weapons, and you just have to think, what if they could use this brain power, this genius, for good? We got ourselves into it with technology. We can get ourselves out of it with technology.